difficulty is that a lot of people, when they're making their claims, they claim for a compensation. Now, you're not entitled to compensation if there's a strike. Mm. Same, similarly, you're not entitled to compensation if there's a volcano that explodes and all the airlines are grounded. Or you're not entitled if there's snow on the, on the runway or whatever. Mm. But you, they, they still have a legal right to look after you, but you just aren't entitled to compensation because those are things that are beyond outside of the airline's control. So a lot of the time people are, are looking for the reimbursement of the money that they spent. Yeah. But they use the word compensation in the email that they sent to the airline. And once the airlines see the word compensation, they go, no, you're not due oh. compensation. So they're rejecting the claim, not because the claim isn't valid, yeah. but because the wrong word has been used. So it's really important that anybody... That is so miserable. It That's... is, but like the airlines would look at it and say, well, this person is applying for compensation. And they'll go, yeah, compensation doesn't apply. Scratch it. All you need to do is to say, I'm looking for a reimburse reimbursement of my expenses incurred as a result of the okay. delay.